Today in Calgary, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was asked a question about the student housing crisis. The answer has revealed a bit about the Trudeau government's accelerator fund, the housing accelerator fund, and what that may look like for cities across the country. Let's have a listen and see what he says. Speaking of solutions for the future, what can we expect in the federal budget in addressing the perpetrating student housing crisis in Alberta and across the country? Uh, this budget that we're uh, working on right now will be focused on both supporting Canadians now and building a better future for the coming years with a particular recognition uh, that young people in particular are squeezed and struggles. Whether it's uh, the challenges around student housing that you highlighted, uh, one of the things we've seen is a, a, an explosion in the number of international students over the past few years. We need to make sure that those students are being properly supported, getting the best quality education, and that the numbers of people coming in uh, are manageable to the ecosystems that are actually supporting and teaching them. And that's why we brought forward uh, changes on that. We've also moved forward not just with various range of programs on housing uh, that are creating a more affordable housing, that are working on a reaching home program to end homelessness. But we've actually signed big deals with the municipal governments, uh, particularly with Calgary and with Edmonton, to change the way housing gets built in this country. The Housing Accelerator Fund is all about making sure that whether it's zoning or cutting red tape or using more public lands or moving forward uh, on greater densification, that it's not just this project or that project that the government's investing in, which is something we're going to continue to do, but that every lot in a given city has an opportunity to increase densification, to, to, to really take advantage of the opportunities to solve this housing crisis together. That's the kind of investments that this country is continuing to do, uh, and we're going to continue to focus particularly on making sure that young people can start a family and afford their homes. Next question. Well, there you have it. Uh, some interesting insights. Um, big deals in Calgary and Edmonton um, on working how the federal government will work with municipalities to densify. Um, one quote that was particularly interesting there was when he said, every lot in a given city has an opportunity to increase densification. What exactly does that mean? What will that look like? Um, we're not sure, but you know, here in the greater Toronto area, does that mean garden homes? Are we going to see every house, every piece of land that has space in the backyard uh, have the opportunity to add a garden home so that, uh, like you said, young people starting a family will have a place to live? Does that mean that young people will be living in small garden homes in your backyard in the near future? Uh, these are some of the questions, you know, that we'll have to follow and, and look into. But um, that's a brief update what the federal government uh, announced today in Calgary. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and like for more content like this.